G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. That's right, we are back here on Riverview on a wonderfully colourful early morning. Not so colourful over there, but anyway. Um, and we are going to get back into it. We are in the second day of December and we are going to crack into our wheat harvest. So let's uh, get straight into it without mucking about. So I've got the New Holland here. I'm just going to grab the um, uh, Shooter Master. And we're going to grab this and bring this down because this is going to be used for collecting the straw. Uh, I'm just going to grab the case and use that for offloading the combine harvester. Um, and we're just going to grab the single Rudolph trailer, which is down in the sheep, to do that. But I'm just going to prep by having all the equipment down here ready to go. Um, so we can just crack into it nice and quickly. So in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy down here to the side here and there we go this is one of the things that happened a while oh, damn trees and branches you know what? I, i'm sick i'm sick and tired of these trees and their branches so you know what i'm gonna this is, this is what i do the tree pisses me off let me get rid of it there we go done right we won't talk about the tree anymore right um, so I just wanted to mention this windmill here we got this couple of uh, episodes back too um, or in between episodes um, the power company paid us to to put this in we didn't have to pay for the install but um we get a little bit of a kickback so that's fine um yeah not going very fast we're not getting much money at the moment all right so what we're going to do is we're going to power him down we're going to grab the combine actually now we're going to grab him first because he's ready to go and i'm going to go grab the trailer which is just round the corner here near the sheep now head over to the farm there, and then the last thing we need to do is grab the combine and head over with the combine. In fact, I, did I leave any hay in this? Yeah, there might be some hay in there, actually. Um, right, we'll empty that out even that, if that is the case. I don't think there is, actually. Right. No, it's not. Alright, so let's head on over, and when we get this there, that'll be the last thing we need to do. We just need to get the combine into place. So, um... Yeah, and then smack bang into it. With the combine there, all ready to go. We'll bring him up here, put him out of the way as well. There we go. Right, now, time to get the combine. Alright, and off we go. We'll take the shortcut through here and just hope we don't dislodge the uh, the header from the trailer, which we didn't, which is good. And then we'll progress on up. I'm not going to unfold until I get to the field because I don't want to get caught on any of those stupid branches. <laughs> I don't want to spend the episode cutting down every tree that's on the farm. Right. And yes, I know we didn't do it the right way, that it just disappeared, I know, but you know what, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not into forestry, I don't play farming sim to play forestry sim, so I, I just don't care. And I think most of you that have watched my videos would know that by now. That includes you, Upsy. <laughs> anyway, alright, so I'm going to disconnect the header, or the header trailer. And we're going to come up and grab this now. I am now going to unfold my combine. Get in a position to get that head up off as neatly as we can without wiping out too much of the crop as well. We're just going to have to wipe out just that little bit there, I think. Okay. All right. We'll make sure we're dropping our straw swath as well, which we're indeed not, and we indeed will be now. And off we go. 
There we go. Right. So into the straw harvest we go. So this will be good because not only does it improve or in increase the amount of straw we got on all on stock, basically, um, it uh, gives us our straw as well, which is what we want to bank up. Although we, we do have a fair bit of straw. I, I think straw is not as much of a problem as what grass is at the moment, but nonetheless, we still do need to um, ensure we're uh, getting as much of this as we possibly can. And anyway, we'll be, we'll be fine. So we're just going to do a couple of header rows here and then we'll... Um, seems to be doing a bit of... Really, um, something not quite seeing right there at the moment. That's better. For some for some reason, there was something that sort of it thought it was caught on or something, and it was not only slowing the speed down; it was actually causing us to effectively slide around on the field. So. Tell it again. Why is it doing that? Hmm. I'm going to go cruise control on off. Um, no reason for it to be doing it. If I put it on cruise control, it just seems to want to do some stupid things. Anyway, we'll see. Maybe this combine harvester won't last very long with us. It's so far for this field, it's certainly not acting as or, or doing the job as well as what the Deutzfar did. And I didn't think I'd be saying that with a reasonably modern pace combine harvester. I don't know whether it's the header or the combine or a combination thereof, but um, I think it might be that the the header itself is not ideally suited to this combine, and that's what's causing the problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how things go. I'm going to see what it does when I put the hired hand on it. Anyway, so we're at 30% full. So um, we'll be about 50% full for one full header. And it looks like we've got some snow on the forecast as well. Hopefully that won't be enough to stop us, we can just continue powering on through. Yeah, so it's just not... Let me just... Um... Something, something's not quite right with this combination, that's for sure. Anyway, we'll continue on unabated and just see what happens. Forty percent. So I was I was ten percent off. Hmm. 
definitely not um, that's how it goes with a hard hand seemingly all right all right well, we're going to let him continue on and what we're going to do is we're going to grab the new holland and start collecting the straw Right, off we go. We'll just see how the, how it goes with the um, with the combine running with the hide hand and and see that there's definitely a, a problem with that combination. We'll have to look into. <clears throat> I think we'll probably just have to end up getting a different header for it and just see how that goes. Well, I'm still pretty sure that was the header that was supposed to go with that combine, but could be mistaken. But the hired hand seems to be dealing with it better than what I was or with cruise control running, so I don't know. We'll see. All right, nonetheless, we'll just continue on. We're going to collect all this straw. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll take the straw to the silo, obviously. In fact, now what, what I'll do is I'll probably take the first load down to the cows. We'll fill up the cow barn with straw, so from the floor. And then uh, anything less in the first load or first two loads, I'll, I'll bump into the, uh, the straw pile for the feed. Um, and then yeah, the rest of it then can go into the uh, the silo. So what's in the silo can remain as our reserve at the moment until that point. Um, but that'll be that'll be enough. Mm. I think last time off this field we got about a hundred thousand litres of straw. So we'll keep a rough tally of the number of loads we do. But um, it's certainly it's enough to last us for a little while, but it's certainly more than what we get in one cycle. So, so for instance, if we do one cycle of of hay collection, we know that's going to last us until um, as a minimum. Uh, we're getting enough room, yeah. Um, as a minimum, until such time as we uh, we then next harvest this field for wheat. Now, we didn't get time in between this episode and the last episode to um, uh, what was I going to say? We didn't get time to mow the grass around the sides of the field that we're going to and up near the, the silo so that's still something we need to do at some point um, but uh, not so fussed about getting it done right at this point in time let's see if we can fit in here thankfully the robot wasn't in here see how much of it this takes it'll probably take all of it Oh, there we go. Most of it took, took the vast majority of it took um, almost sixty percent. So the rest of it will just dump down in here. Well, that was good timing because the robot's just heading in there now. So there we go offload here. Bonus. 
is. Next load will also come to here, so we'll fill up the rest of the feed, um, and then the rest of it then will go in the silo. So that's okay, all good. All right. Love it when a plan comes together for once. We haven't fixed that ramp up there either from where I put that bloody light pole in, which I've got to do. Continue off where we continue from where we left off. There we go. Combines are almost ready to uh, unload. So what we might do, so before he gets to the end of this row, whoops. So we'll go off and offload him before he turns, just to make sure we don't have any problems. Five percent to go for the combine, and there we go. He's done. Right, scoot off out of the way. We'll just take this load straight up to the silo, and then we'll come back down again, and then we'll be good to go again. All right. It's a great big pothole right there. Boom, boom. Right, there goes the suspension. <clears throat> Promise to try and fix that before uh, the next uh, the next video. All right, let's have a look and see what we've got here. It's probably used up all of the canola oil now. I oh, know it's got a little bit more. All right, so we're just um, going to push this out of the way. Whoops. Try again. There we go. Alright, so there's another four pallets will be coming out of that load and then that'll be it done. So if they all come out in uh, during today's video as in if they're available um, for the end of the video then we'll go off and sell them and then that'll be it that'll be the canola done for this batch until we next uh yeah our next harvest okay park you in there shut you down grab the new holland and away we go again Busy, busy, busy. All right. So it's what is it? Eleven a.m. Uh, we'll be we finished this field easily by the end of the day, which will be good. Um, probably take a little bit longer than just the next. We have another eleven minutes to go in the video, so um, probably not enough to fill the episode. Well, it'll be enough to fill the episode, but probably not enough to complete the job in this episode. Um, now decide on whether we're going to come back and finish it off in the next episode or whether we just finish it off off camera um, and progress further through. Now this is the other option for silage I haven't tried yet is, is adding the, the silage additive 
and then just collecting up the straw. Um, it's not, not something I've, I've tried at all in FS22. I must try it at some point. I'll probably try it off camera in a um, you know, solo game or something. Um, just to sort of see how, how it all works and whether it's worthwhile doing it that way or, or more s beneficial doing it that way, like as in growing wheat and then converting the straw to silage as opposed to doing grass fields and then uh, bailing that into to silage. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll see how we go. Well, I mean, I think I can also use the grass and then add the silage additive and it automatically does as well. So, same, same. So. Mm. Perhaps we could actually even try that for when we got the grass field running. So instead of baling it, we just add some silage additive and then see what it does. I don't, so I guess the question is whether it automatically turns it into silage um, or whether you've got a fermenting period of time you've got to do before you can actually add it, consider it silage. Because um, I mean, obviously, with the, the, uh, the bales, you have to wait a day or two until they're actually ready. Um, and they fermented into silage so I don't know how it would work with these trailers or these loading wagons as to um, how quickly and effectively they would actually change so right it's going to wet the whistle And then another delivery off to the cows. There we go. So that's what 60, 70,000 so far of straw. So we're going to easy get 105. It'll, yeah, it'll, I think last time we got about the 120,000. So that's probably about right. Certainly on track for that at this point in time. Can't take the robot out again. He is going around there. Is he going there? Oh, he's putting himself away. Good boy. Hmm. Hey, let's have a look and see what we've got in there now. As the straw comes in. There we go. So I'd say that's full. And it is so there you go so we've pulled up the straw nicely excellent so now everything we gather now will go into the the silo and it'll be just stored uh, ready for use that's excellent so we're, we're banking not only we've filled up the cows and got them um, filled up ready to go uh, to continue on uh, it also builds up our stockpiles as well which is always handy i got that Hot hole there from the lights to fix, and I've got that other one there at the top of the rise as well, which I hadn't noticed before. Oh, bit of landscaping work to do, duck. Right. Oh, look, we've already got. Come on, trigger. Where's trigger? There we go. Right. Okay, so let's see. I know some of you don't like this, but you know what? I'm, I simply refuse to get pallet handlers or anything else out now. This is the way it's going to be. I either do it with the auto loaders or I do it by hand. If you don't like it, too bad, so sad. Build a bridge. You'll get over it. All right, what have we got left? All right, okay. Another three to go. All right. Let's continue on with the straw. I won't go close to getting it finished in this episode. It'll be close. Five minutes to go. Can we get it all done? Oh, I might as well start here. It's neither here nor there because it was basically a um, full trailer when we started this row anyway so it's not going to make much difference uh, has he stopped there because he has right let's get the combine running first that's a priority right 
the workers got all confuzzled. Not surprising with the standard of this the worker on this farm. <clears throat> right, let's sort of patch through here. Two rows. Okay, it's off and running again. So we will get this field finished in this episode, which is great. So, oh well, we've got that little bit over there to do. Yeah, we'll we'll finish it. We'll we'll extend it by a couple of minutes if we have to. <clears throat> what is the combine at? Forty-two percent. So we're going to empty the combine twice only for this field. This combine. Uh, the Joyce far we did three or four times, so that uh, just shows the difference in capacity. It's not much, but it's enough to make a difference. And then we'll end up doing three or four loads of straw. Probably three and a half is probably the most accurate. That'll be that'll be a good day, a good good amount of work done. So we've uh, topped up the cows with the straw. We've we've added some straw to the silo. We're going to top up our wheat supplies, uh, which means we can go feed the chickens some more. Um, so yeah, all in all, quite good. Can't complain. Right, round we go again. Combine coming back for his last run through this side, then he'll go the other side and we'll finish off that little bit over there and then we'll be done. Right. Right, so before he goes off and does anything stupid, we're just going to interrupt him. He's going back there to try and get probably a little bit from there. Which you don't need to worry about. We're just going to send him over here. Hopefully he might get this little section on his own, but we'll see. If he doesn't, that's okay. We'll we'll fix it up manually. But yes, yeah, so that's quite an effective uh, day's work. We've um, we've managed to harvest all that, which is fantastic. Let's see how much of this straw from this run we're going to get. We probably won't get it all because. Um, we're already close to being full at 91%. Let's just see if he's going to turn around and get that other little bit over there. He's thinking about it. Load full. No, he's, he's going to totally cock that all up. So we'll fix that up when we come back. <clears throat> oh, no, he's not. He's, he's actually got him. No, he's going to do that all right. So that's okay. Good lad. There we go. So let's see what we've got in the way of straw stocked up now. Ah, oh, it's looking that's looking very healthy. Almost two hundred thousand straw. We'll have two hundred thousand straw here well and truly by the end of the uh, the day. So that's excellent. Very happy with that. 
mind you, just keep in mind that if we do empty out the cow barn of straw, both in the feeding area, uh, or sorry, for the feed and also for the bedding or for inside the barn, that's basically around 100,000 litres per go. So, um, 200,000 is not, oh, look what the combine's doing. He's decided to do some rock climbing. Hmm. I don't think that's really where we want him to be, but anyway. <laughs> uh, who said the AI was bad? I mean, seriously. Oh, he's fixed himself. He's, he's come off. <laughs> oh, oh, seriously. What's he doing now? Has he finished? Yeah, he's finished. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Oh, I'm not going to worry about that last little bit. So, oh, no, I will. I'll do it manually. We'll get it all off the field. Why not? It's not going to hurt. So we need another five or six thousand to get to two hundred thousand in the silo. We've just reached five and a half thousand for that lot there, so we should be okay now. This last little bit here. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just going to run it straight over with this. All right, we're going to offload the straw then we'll come back empty the combine and that will be it for the episode righto So we'll end up doing the canola in the next episode, which will be tomorrow's game day, I would say. Um, that's if we do an episode. If we don't do an episode tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's game day, we will, it depends on what the status of the fields is. If we, got, if we have a field to, um, well actually let me, let me think about that for a second before I make that statement because, uh, we could we could get that field prepped ready to go again. Now I reckon these two fields are going to be ready probably tomorrow, close to. So what we'll do is um, we will indeed um, we will what we'll do is yeah we'll sell the canola off off camera if we don't do any gameplay in tomorrow's game day. Um, and then we'll let you know what the resultant profit was from that. Um, so in case we come back, say January, um, we'll, we'll sort of let you know how much we've made from the sale of the canola oil, uh, because we do have to sell that in tomorrow's game day, um, because that's the last of the, the high prices, and then it's gonna dip back down again. So we wanna um, make sure we're selling that at the best price, and uh, there, then we'll go from there. But thankfully, we got the um, the harvest of the wheat field done before the snow set in, which is great because we don't know how much snow we're going to get. In fact, I probably could. Oh, uh, do we get? Yeah, we do. Um, we got about an hour's worth of snow, so probably not enough to really affect us too much. Um, so that should be okay. But anyway, that is it. So thanks so much for watching. We've finished our harvest, which is fantastic. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode um, with all that we brought to you. I've got a little bit of straw that I can pick up too if I wanted to. Um, probably will. I'll probably come pick that up. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you press that like button and let us know. Uh, it's a good indication to let us know if you're enjoying the series and the video itself. Uh, if not, that's okay. You can press the dislike button too. I don't care. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, um, it doesn't really matter whether you press the like or the dislike button. It still helps with the algorithm. So just press away. Uh, we're going to fold up the combine. I'm going to grab the uh, the trailer here. I'm going to take this back down to the farm uh, once we've finished here. But yeah, so uh, 
yeah, help, that helps out with the algorithm as well, obviously. Um, the other thing I was going to say is, don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you as part of the DZG family, the Ducks or the Gaming family. And of course, if you press that subscribe button, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well, so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel. And don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details are down below in the description. And last but not least, make sure you take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Ducks All the Gaming. And Riverview Farms. <laughs> take care. See you later. Bye.